What you gotta do is look for behavioral signs such as incessant mooing, but most of all, she will exhibit more vigorous interaction with other females, putting her yeah. chin on the rump uh -huh. of another cow uh -huh. and... Oh yeah, yeah, keep going. Tell me about that dirty heifer. God damn it. You are sitting there with a hot laptop on your sweaty thighs doing an image search for heifers, aren't you? Jesus. I'm tired of you sickos calling up and ruining my otherwise flawless broadcasting flow. This is a civilized show for civilized people, discussing a variety of topics relating and beyond insemination. Why, oh why, does this subject matter attract such a variety of perverts, creeps, and weirdos? It is quite beyond me. Now, don't get me wrong, I mean, I like a good time. I've been known to participate in a pheromone party where you do not shave or bathe for one week and then partake in moonshine and speed with a group of other like-minded individuals in a hot tub. It is hell on the other side of that party, but it is worth the ride. But that does not mean I find calling up a radio program about royal affairs and pleasuring myself while perusing the heifer section of the information superhighway an acceptable form of behavior. Is that clear? Charlie, you pervert, is that clear? Yes. Are we straight, son? Yes, sir. Good. Now you take care, you hear? Thank you, sir. I am lost for words. Next caller. Hi there, Dwayne. My name is Susan. I'm calling from Sandy Shores. I really like what you said about how animals have babies and then they abandon them and then they go find another mate. Oh, that just touched me. That made me cry. It reminded me when I left little Mary Sue outside the Up and Adam restaurant. I was tired of all her crying and carrying on anyway. Because I just hooked up with a guy I just met named Francis. Oh, well, good on you, Susan. Though I am not a fan of names that can apply to a man or a woman, unisexery has neutered our society. No man should be named Francis or Alex or Jamie or, God forbid, Casey. But anyway, I'm so glad we inspired you. That's evolved thinking right there. See, we do believe in evolution in the right situation. For the record, not me, nor no one in my family was ever no monkey. Nor have they been with a monkey, not ever, not even at the zoo, nor pretty much any animal, aside from the usual ones we all practice on. There, that's cleared up. Science and truth can exist together, you see. We can learn a lot from nature. You know how a mama puppy cleans up after a litter by eating their waste? Well, my mama ate all her boys poop till we were five. It was unconventional, but it sure made us the people we are today. Social services said this had something to do with the lab her and my daddy had cooking up toilet cleaner, but I would disagree ferociously. I would even go as far as to challenge you to a knife fight. You want to come and talk some shit like that? We will tie our wrists together and solve this in the time-honored way. That's my mama you're speaking about. You take that back, you hear me? That's my mama! Get off my phone and get off my show! Disrespecting a man's mama like that. Now then, changing tack for one special moment. Well, we all know that part of being a man is heeding the call of nature to kill it and serve it grilled to members of your family and or tribe. I have been hunting since I was a small boy and I can in fact track more than 16 different species of ruminant animal. While our olfactory senses have been dulled as hell by so-called civilization and nature, all they got is smell. I know how to simulate the odor of any species.
Come on, one love to come.